What's up guys, it's Zed and welcome to the start of episode 5 of the ZM Cohetes Creative Club career mode. Last episode, sorry, last season, last episode, same thing, whatever. Um, we got the Champions League trophy and we got the La Liga trophy. So this time around, for this season, I'm aiming for the Copa del Rey. That is the domestic, the domestic um, trophy. So, because like, I want to at least win that sometime in this life. And I mean, we have five more seasons after after season five, and um, I mean, it's going to be it's, it's, a, it's a long time from now, a couple of videos from now to the end of this series, and I mean, we should be able to get a couple trebles down the line, and and, and I'm feeling like this this season might just be a treble winning season for us, especially with the players that I plan to buy. And speaking of that, this episode, um, I'm doing up three episodes per season right now. I spoke about this in the last episode, um. I'll be doing the first episode for the transfers, the 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 summer transfers. That's what the that's what the first episode is going to be about. Summer transfers, preseason matches, and I might play the first match of the season or something like that. And then the second the second match of um sorry the second episode is going to be the rest of the first half of the season. And then the second episode is going to be the last half of the season. Sorry, third episode is going to be the last half of the season. So with all that being said, let's go straight into the video. But before that, you guys should definitely like the video and also subscribe, comment and share the video to your friends and you know other people that watch FIFA YouTube videos and stuff like that. So my main transfer target for this episode is Phil Foden. And I mean, why am I bringing him into the team? Because he can also play that right wing and that's exactly where I'm going to play. And once I bring him, once I bring him into the team, I'm going to I'm, I'm change him into a right winger. And the reason I'm doing this is because Rise is already peaked at 88 and I mean I just want someone else that would um, get get that right that right that right wing going and he's also one of my best players in the world like right after Neymar he's like number two so um he's 26 years old so I, mean, I, I really don't mind he has five years to go in our team so he will be 31 by the time we're done with this series and I think Lafont is the second play is the second player I want to buy, and I also want to buy a centre back. Um, the fact that Davies Bellingham, no, I think I'm not going to be buying Bellingham anytime soon, but I'm just leaving there. All right, so Davies Bellingham, Erling Haaland, and Vlahovic. The fact that they are on this thing, <laughs> I mean, I plan on buying them, but not in this season. I mean, Haaland, I was actually contemplating buying Haaland or Vlahovic, but um, I just feel like Fonseca still has so much to offer. And I don't want to steal that spotlight from him just yet. I don't want Haaland to, to steal that spotlight from him just yet. Because if he does, I mean, Haaland is definitely going to be winning um, the player of the season for our team. The um, golden boots and stuff like that. And I I mean, it's not yet time. I, I, I might probably buy him next season or, or two seasons from now. If Fonseca doesn't um, get to where I want him to get. Which is um, to, be, to be banging 50 goals. 50 goals like per season like 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 Zaid in case you guys watch my previous FIFA 22 videos so uh anyways Foden is the is the main target that I'm going to buy Lafon that's all the players I'm going to buy for this seat for this season and am I actually am I actually um wait the asking price is 198 and I can offer 159 his 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 market value is 138.5 all right so I might actually sell Rise, who knows? Who knows if I actually do that? Or I might sell Madike and make Rise the, the sub substitute. Anyway, this is our new first kit. I really liked that alternate kit from last season, so I, I just had to I just had to make that make, make that our first kit for this season. It's really, really fucking mad. So 138 for Foden. And obviously this is not going to be enough. 138 500. So let's take this to 140. I doubt it's still going to be enough. So I will put a 15% sell on clause right there. Um Let's hope that this actually goes through. They want Florian Vertz. I'm not going to do that. Florian Vertz is a pretty important player in my, in my, in my team. So they did not accept for um, 140 and that. So I'm, I'm going to take this to 145. And let's see let's see what they do. 174. Bruh. Okay, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I might have to... Take a couple goals at this transfer before I get it right. Okay, that's a reasonable. Okay, that was actually quite shocking that he just answered like that straight off the bat. So okay, one fifty thousand, one fifty million for the folding. That is that is really fucking expensive, man. And yeah, I don't know how much he was getting at Man Manchester City, but right now he's going to be getting a whole lot of money, whole fucking lot of money. All right, so crucial role. Yes, obviously. Um, how many years? Five years. That's good for me. 
Mm -hmm. No release clause, please. That is another disgusting release clause. And this agent looks really nice, by the way. No release clause. He wants 210. Go bonus, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, I mean, that is... This is good enough for me. It's, it's spot on, like, good enough. I, I, I don't mind that at all. So, okay, that's the deal done. The Foden is now officially a member of ZM Coheters. And let, let's watch the... The, um... Let's watch him come to the team. Alright, so he got the number 11. Yeah, no one actually had that number for a longer time. So I guess I guess that would fit his his play because he's going to be on the right wing. So I guess 11 fits him. Okay, 11 for the left. But whatever, whatever. So A, please tell me it's an A. Tell me it's an A. Yeah, definitely. That that would be a really really good offer. And he can play C A M. He can play left wing. He can play right wing. And he can definitely play um, C F. Center forward. That is that is a really really good good fucking dynamic player right there that we just got so let's introduce him into the team into the lineup and he's definitely going to be playing on that wing but the thing is that he's a really good player and he i mean it's it's written there that he's going to be playing right wing sorry left wing so i mean the problem with that is when i'm simulating through the season you know the normal simulation from the calendar he's going to be playing left wing because he's better than than German, so I mean I'm, I, I, that's the reason why I have to play him as right winger because I really don't want German to be losing games because of that. And okay, he's he's like he's actually peaked at 92, so there's no point of a development schedule for him. And wait, what do you want to do just now? Okay, I wanted to change him to a right winger, so that's what I would do. I mean that wouldn't take a long time at all. Yeah, just two weeks, just two weeks for him. So, but by the time we are, by the time we get to the first. Um, preseason match we should be we should be um he should be a right winger already we have 106 million left in our budget and i mean that's still good enough to get lafont and probably one of that mid-range player or something like that i'm going to sim one week ahead to see the the offers and stuff that we get within that one week and well i'll see you guys when we get there one week is up and we did not really get much we only got a couple offer from a couple what the hell am i doing we only got a couple offers like just one offer but it's not really that big a deal it's for um oscar martinez a loan offer for him or rather a transfer offer hmm. the right back center back left back so i think I i'm just going to try and get the most out of that deal before i sell him oh and yes this is the best time to get left one so the team will not sell this player because we can't negotiate. The team will not sell this player, but we can negotiate with him directly if we pay his release clause. So I definitely have to do that, and it's seventy-eight point three million. I don't, I don't want to pay that much for for Lafont. I legit don't want to pay that much for him. So let me see if I can, I can look for a a goalkeeper that will not really stress me that much. Zach Stefan, a good enough substitute. He's not good enough to give um Van Dre a run for his money. But I mean, he's definitely good enough for him to be a second, a second goalkeeper in our team. So I'm going to approach to buy him. We can get him for 16. That's his, that's his stuff. But we can definitely get him for less than 16. And let's try and get him for less. Okay, his market value is 8 million. So, I mean, I would definitely just give them 8 million. Let's see what they say. And they actually, they go for it. I, I, I would feel bad if I actually went less than 8 million. So, I mean, 8 million for Zach Stefan. He's 31. He... He most likely, he most definitely will not last to the end of the series. If he does, that would be good. But well, he's definitely going to be a 60-something rated goalkeeper if that happens. And I'm going to delegate this because, I'm, I mean, he's not that important for me to want to um, do the deal myself. So, I mean, that's basically it for the transfers for this season. And, um, yeah, I don't want to tell Rise, but if a transfer offer comes in for him, I might just have to because... With Foden in the team, he's not going to get a lot of playing time. But if he does, that would be good for him. And um, with Foden in the team, he's not going to get a lot of playing time. I mean, I'm still going to try and play him as much as I can. But I mean, he's. I mean, to be honest, he's not going to get like a a, a, a substantial amount of playing time for a player of his caliber. I mean, he's 88, right? He's 88. Where the fuck is he? 
yeah, he's he's way down in, in squad rankings. He's so fucking down. So I'm 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 going to allow the offers because I blocked it before. So I'm going to allow them if a couple offers coming for him, fine, and you know that'll be that'll be good. So I'm going to sim to the next week and let's see if we have any offers that might come for any of the players. Okay, so we have six messages. Folding position change option. Okay, that's good. Two weeks right on right on target, and now I can change it to a right winger. So there's not going to be any um competition for for German when I'm simming the matches. So. I mean, he's a rifle right winger now, so that's good for him. Zach Stefan, they accepted for 40, 40 million one year, sorry, 42,000 pounds one year. And okay, contract offer is three years. Is, the, is that the offer or that's what he currently has? But yeah, that's the contract offer, I think. So, anyway, he's going to walk into the team now. Not really interested in um, looking at this, so. I mean, that should definitely be an A, right? An F. We could have... Fuck these guys. <laughs> Fuck these guys. So, so you're telling me you wanted me to buy him for less than his market value. I mean, I mean people would do that, but I don't think I, I would feel comfortable doing that. So, I mean, how old is this guy? He's 18. So, I mean, a one-year loan is okay. Okay, he has two offers, though. So, one-year loan for the both of them. A, okay, so they accepted for 1.85 million for Martinez and a transfer offer for Pedri. They want to give me Gomez. I'm not going to accept that. Oh, that's true. I was supposed to buy a. I talked about buying a um a centre back, a substitute centre back. So let me look at the team real quick. Um, we have Helvig and Vardio. They are 91 rated, both of them. Um, Tomiyasu can play right back really well. So the thing is, sorry, he can play centre back as well. The thing is, I might actually want to buy Sergio Dest. I mean, he's a player that I might, I might actually want to buy because he can actually play both right and left. But other than, other than Sergio Dest, there's also someone that might actually be okay to to bring to the team. He, he might be on the older side now, but he's definitely someone that I would want to bring into my team because of the experience and stuff. And that is Joel Cantelo. Yes, I want to bring in Joel fucking Cantelo. He's he's 88. And I mean, I most likely would not bring him into the team because I mean, it's just it's, it's just too wild that offer for like it's just too wild for me to bring him to the team. Although that would that would, what the fuck am I doing? Although that would bring us a lot of squad depth, I still feel like I mean, it's just it's just too too wild. But I mean, you never know. Am I actually am I actually bring bring yet another city man into our team? So Sergio Dest, he can play right back, can play left back. He's currently eighty five. And I feel like he might actually be a good, a good, a, a good sub for both right and left. And then um, I, I'll be able to play Tomiyasu as centre back sometimes. So and Cancelo can also play right and left. So I mean, he's he's a more tempting offer because he's way better. Although he's going to be in five years from now, which might, in five years from now he's not going to be in this club. So I mean, it might just be a player that I might want in our team just for the sake of of buying him just so that we can get a couple of um, wins here and there because you know when we're simulating I, I feel like squad depth matters when we're simulating through the season so I mean Cancelo really seems like a team sorry a person that I might want to bring into my team legit <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go for it I think I'm just going to go for it I'm definitely just going to go for it all right so um, we can we have a chance with 44.6 so let's see if if, if if Guardiola is going to want to sell his star fullback to our team. I mean, our team is definitely a Champions League winning side and I want to retain that. So, I mean, buying Cancelo is, is one of the many ways to, to hold that offer, to hold that um, title. So, 45 million and 10%, they want Maduke. Hmm... Madiki. Madiki is really tempting. It's a really, really fucking tempting offer. It's actually a really, really fucking tempting offer to sell Madiki because I mean he's not really doing a lot in our team and he's been in the team since the very first season. So you know what I think I think I think I'm going to sell Madiki. But I would I would I would Okay Madiki and 20. So I think I think that's actually pretty good but let's just 
be a cheap skill right now. I do my decay plus 18. So let's see what Guadula is going to say. Alright, so 18.8. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So that's a really good transfer um, for a really good um, fee for, trans for Cancelo. So coming to our team now, let's see how. I mean, definitely, it's definitely not going to be a crucial role. Definitely. Oops. And um, yeah, he's going to. Mm, rotation. I mean, since I bring him into the team, there's actually a high chance that he'll actually play over over Stewart. So I think an important squad role will actually be good. And the, the agent is good with that. Three years. He can probably play for three years, right? And yes. Um release clause. I think I think I'm actually I'm actually be okay with that release clause. 110. Alright, alright, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. So, Cancelo is now in our team. Yet another Manchester City star signing for our team. I mean, even if it's kind of on the old side now, I, I really don't mind bringing a, a beast like Cancelo into our team. He might add, he might add, he definitely would add to to the to the um, long line of stars that are, that are on this team. So that that is, that is really good. Cancelo plus 18.8, we definitely should get an A for that, a B. We could have saved 7.8. No, I, I hate it when I see when I lose like an A and I see money that is not it's not really substantial at all. I, it, it really pisses me off to be honest. But Cancelo in our team now, Sergio Des can go fuck himself. I, I I don't need him anymore. So let's what the hell? Yeah, I'm I'm supposed to go here. I get so confused in this menus to be honest. Then Stewart is currently an 88. Cancelo is also an 88. So I'm bringing Cancelo into the team. And he's definitely, I'm definitely going to be rotating them, but I want Cancelo to be mainly in the starting lineup because I mean I, I really like I, I really like his style of play. So Cancelo, Stewart, and the only okay yeah the last option. So now we have a really good bench, really fucking good bench. Um, Zach Steffen, Stewart, Tomiyasu, Calvin James, uh, Florian Wirtz, Rise, and Correa. I mean. Madike is gone, so I think I think I might not I might not want to sell Rise anymore. So I mean he's I mean it's definitely going to be a tough battle. We have a lot of options in the bench. So I mean I've changed my mind selling Rise at all. I'm 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 going to have to block that offer yet again. So I mean I'll, I'll do that real quick and then I'll come back. All right, so I basically done all the transfers that I want to do. So what we are what we should be bothered about next is the the preseason matches. We have two German giants right now. Two, for, two fucking German giants that, that we have to face. That's Borussia Dortmund and, and and Bayern. So, I mean, our team is good enough. I mean, I'm not going to play the matches. I'm going to do... Sorry, I'm not going to play the full matches. I'm going to do the playable highlights for them. And our team is definitely good enough to be able to put these two two teams in, our, in their place. I wonder who the last... last Who our last opponent is going to be, though. Bergamo Calcio is our last opponent. And, I mean, that's definitely going to be the easiest of all three. And then, okay, let me just look at this real quick. The, the, the first match of the season I'm going to play is going to be this match against Fiorentina. I think, what what the fuck team is that? What, what is that team? This should be the Super Cup. Yeah, um, the Super Cup against Fiorentina. Oh, that was actually Fiorentina. <laughs> actually, I actually like, just guessed the, the name because of the logo. And I, I was actually right. So that, is, that is interesting. And one other thing that we're forgetting to do right now is the, is the, um, the thing, what they call it. The objective, the board objectives for this season, I've completely forgotten that. I'm rejecting that offer for Yantin and they accept. And I think the other one accepts. So whichever one he wants to go to, he can feel free and all. So Martinez has also been sold to LC Old Tricks, whatever. No, I'm not even going to try to, to pronounce that. But um, next up, we have, we have Borussia Dortmund and it's just a couple days away. I want to look at the board objectives right after this simulation. I wonder why it's taking so long. Very. <laughs> oh, we're here already. I was distracted. <laughs> um, we have one message that I see there. Yantin Lo rejected. Okay. Um, I think that should mean that he probably went to the other other team. You can't tell me he rejected both of them. That's going to be that's going to be stupid. It would be fucking stupid if he did. But we have Borussia Dortmund first. Let's I mean I want to take a look at all the players I brought into into the team this time. And that will mean um Zach Stefan is going to play the first match. 
He's going to play. He's going to play the entire the entirety of the of the preseason. And no, let's put no. Let's put James. Let James play. And Schmidt will be a a sub for this. And Tomiyasu. No, let's just hold on for now. If I need him, I will bring him in. And uh, yeah, the the captain ship should go to James. And all right, we are good. The first match is going to be against Borussia Dortmund. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we win the match. Let's see. Hopefully, our team is going to be good enough to actually defeat Borussia Dortmund. I feel like we are. We definitely are on paper though. But let's see if uh, they haven't slugged off in the in the in the in the summer break. I don't know what I'm saying to be honest. But okay, let's see if we are able to win this match. Or not, but we, should, we definitely should be able to win it. So first, first um opportunity is a is an attack and a really good one at that. Is Foden going to get his first assist? I I I I think it's more likely that he will. I don't know I don't know why that happened, but we should still get it. No, we don't. And I I, I don't know why he gave it to 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 um to German instead of instead of Fonteca and okay, we have a couple of chances here I don't know what I did but this is a good chance for folding and he hit the fucking bar but we still have the ball though we still have the ball so we go again what the hell is Helby doing what the fuck is Helby doing is that supposed to be because of the, the whole summer thing all right, so okay, we still have the ball. That's that's good. Uh, okay, shit, that was that was close, but we, we lost the ball there. They have a crossing opportunity for Dortmund, and our work right now is to. All right, good defense. Boris had a solo run. Um, who's that? Is that that was the Guardio. No, that is not him. That, okay, that's Cantelo. You definitely got this. Hey, whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so they scored the first goal of the match. I have no idea who that is, but. Okay. We have a counter attack here. That, this should be really. This is a really good opportunity. So please, guys, don't fuck up. We're giving it to German. He's definitely the best option. Not anymore. Fonteca, please, that is that is beautiful. Oh my god, what was that first touch? What, what was that first touch? Oh my god, we actually lost the match. We actually lost the match. What was that first touch? I, I legit did not need that. I, I, was, I wasn't even sprinting. I wasn't even sprinting, but okay. So, Foden, Cantelo, Zach Steffen. I mean, obviously, Zach Steffen is not as good as... Um, what's his face? Um, Van Drey. But I mean, I doubt Vanjie was still going to be able to, to to get that, to save that. That was that, that was my bad. That was my fucking bad. But I mean, we move is just preseason. It's not it's not of any circum. It's not of any um implication to whatever results those come out at any point. Although it would be nice to lift the preseason trophy. We haven't done that yet for the entirety of this series. Robin Yantin is out of the club on loan. And well, I mean, our, our team still stands fucking strong. So next up is going to be a tougher one against against Bayern. I'm going to be using our oh yeah, let, yeah, this is a good chance to, to showcase the kits. Yeah, that's that's true. So this is the first one you guys have already seen it, and then this is going this is the second away kit. It's basically the same color scheme as last year, as last season, and um, it's. It's it's all it's all navy blue, but it has this pattern on the shirt and all. So and the the alternate version is basically is basically the same the same part the same design as the home 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 kit from last season. I, I just switched the home and alternate, and you know the color scheme still remain the same. So I'm going to be using this for this match, and yeah, what substitutions am I going to make? Hmm, this this will this will be tempting. This should be tempting. Yeah, I'm going to use this formation. But the thing is that the I haven't I haven't um really done the thing for this 
for this one. I'm still going to play Cancelo over Stewart for this match. But I'm going to bring Tomiyasu in. Schmidt is not going to play at all this preseason. And the last person I'm supposed to bring in is Foden here. So Foden for Lozano. Lozano is going to... Sorry, Foden is going to replace... Um, should I do this? Yeah. Oops. That, that was my... That was a mistake. So Drummond is going to be the... The CAM for this match. And yeah, I, I, I feel like we should be able to we should be able to do pretty well in this match. And I'm I'm not playing Zach Stefan in this match. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean I, I I'm i will say it again, it wasn't his fault that um we we lost. I, I would say it was actually Cancelo's fault because he was supposed to be able to get that, but he wasn't. Um you know, that was really good skill from Robbie that that got the goal. But I mean, we move basically. Now we are up against FC Bayern, Bayern, Bayern Munich versus ZM Cohetes. And let's see, we should have. I mean, it's Bayern, so we shouldn't really have. I shouldn't expect to have um, the more attacking options. And, and, and their team is, is fucking stacked at that. So that's not another thing to look, to look at. All right, Helvig was almost was almost on that. Just need to block that pass. Yeah, we did really well with Tomiyasu, and that is a really good interception. Now is our turn for a counter. I hope that this game has not set me up to lose this straight off the bat. That would, that that would piss me off so much. But folding might have a chance on goal, and he heads this like an idiot for some reason. I don't know why the hell you would head that. Why would you fucking head that? Good chance for you. For a volley and man freaking used his head all right so we we get the ball and we are thrown straight into another free kick for bayern and i mean this is definitely too far for them to to do anything definitely too far and we are with the ball i really wish that this was a full match because i always i mean those counter attacks i really love them so much and now we have a good chance for a goal and bro, stop using your freaking head! What the hell? Do, like, I mean, things that like if I now do, if I, if I hold L2, there's every probability that he's not going to do a scorpion kick and also fuck it up. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to be holding L2 now. If if, if the wrong shit happens, then so be it. We're still in the first half, so that is that is very that is good. And let's just hope that we do not lose too much in a row. Good, that's good from Cantelo, but unlucky he wasn't able to clear it. And that, that that's a really good press. We took him all the way back to his to his keeper. All right, so this one, I see James, I see Helvig, I see Fonseca. Those three guys are really good at heading balls. They weren't able to head any balls, but we still have. A good enough chance. Let's see what Vardil can do from distance. He gets blocked by the defender. Okay, we have. Let's just say this is our last chance, and let's just go all out here. So th that should be very to the ball. Foden, please. Do we still get the ball? Yes, we don't. We don't get the ball, and that's the end of the match. We lost our first match, and we drew our first match, and and uh, we drew our second match. We haven't scored any goals at all in this preseason. I wonder what is going on. I really hope that we do not bring this kind of um, form into 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 the the main season, which starts next episode. You guys should definitely stick around for that. It's going to be um, live. Okay, not live. It's going to come on YouTube um, next tomorrow, 4 p.m. West African time. You guys should definitely you guys should definitely subscribe and like, comment, share. You know all that jazz. So. Next up, we have Atalanta. Sorry, Big Grammar Castle. Yeah, that is Atalanta. Is it? Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not really liking the fact that we are not winning any matches. We lost the first, we drew the second. And let's just fix this um, thing real quick. Um, I don't I don't want Fodi to play in this. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to bring him from the bench. Cancelo and then Zach Steffen. That is, that is good enough for me. And... Yeah, this, this formation is good enough for me. Then one more formation for us to change. That is the last one, the, the B team. There's Korea. There's... I mean, now that Rise is now a B team player, it's definitely going to be there still. And obviously, um, Stefan for Van Dre. And 
okay i feel like something is something is missing here stepping for stepping for vandry and and i feel like okay so where the hell is tomiyasu so tomiyasu definitely for for lozano and i mean the, the tricky thing right now is i i either play zarachu or or cancelo so I, i'm going to play cancelo i'm going to put him on the bench rather just just because so moving on we have the match against bergamo calcio next hopefully we can actually redeem ourselves and get a win here i was going to sign three players that were born in europe i signed three players okay the, the last one i signed was was um an american mm, that's sad we're supposed to win everything else then for this youth academy one it's basically the same one as last year so i mean i i feel like i could definitely still get a couple um I could definitely still get a couple good players from the youth academy and i'll also check out the ones we have right now i still do have a really good player but i'm, I'm a really good scout but i'm just going to get one from spain so we can do three three um nations and i'm going to go to nigeria my country for this one i'm, I'm taking the really experienced guy there and basically the best scouts and I'm, I'm going to do any because i feel like of the fact that i did technically gifted really really um um down down the amount of players that i could get the amount of good players that could come out and I, I i don't want to do that anymore so this guy from italy i want to send you to the united states or no i'll send you to um argentina i took them to brazil last year and it, we got a lot of good players and then the last one i'm going to take you to um, Central america or let, let's just get players from spain yeah because i mean we are a spanish club so yeah so spain argentina and nigeria so i mean hopefully we are going to get what we deserve what we need yeah what we definitely deserve because i feel like we deserve a lot of of good players from the youth academy and speaking of that let's take a look at what we have right now so the best player is um rodriguez he's 16. it's not 17 yes this one is 17 so i'm going to be bringing him up into the team and um you're also 17 but your your thing is all is all wrong and I, I don't like you so <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to get you the fuck out and yeah those those remaining guys are just going to chill and hopefully they don't get unsettled when i'm not looking and leave so yeah so right now most of our our youth players are actually out on loan most of them are actually out on loan so i mean the the youngest yeah the youngest players are this guy is 16 and 64 i don't know if i just brought him into the team or not i really don't know but i'm going to put him out on loan and then this guy this is what i, I just brought in i feel like this guy is going to go go places for some reason um what's his name finley peters and then these three are on loan this guy, this guy was a guy that I, I, I got last season and he's absolutely fucking beastly already. He's already only 78. I, I brought him in at 72 and in one season he grew in, he grew six overalls. That is, that is, that is crazy. Loan of us for Hood Coopers, loan of us for Stan Martins. I mean, these guys are really, really good. And funny how this guy is actually really young and he's 91. That is fucking crazy. That is so crazy. Fernando Martinez, you are 20, you are 72. I'm going to put you on the loan loan lists and that is basically all all that i i need right now for loan offers and all that so we have bergamo calcio the last the last team that we are going to play for the preseason and i feel like i feel like the kids might 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 screw me over so i'm just going to give them that dark one to, to be safe and i was i, I would stick with this formation I'm not going to make any changes. Schmidt is going to play. He's going to start. Kalimberg is going to start as well. Um, Zach Stefan is not going to start. So I'm, 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 I'm hoping that we get the win. Fingers are crossed. This match, I really hope that we can get the win because the last two matches were really, really disappointing. And I don't like the fact that we got fucked in, in both those matches. So uh, let's hope that for the sake of our team, for the sake of the sanity of our players and the morale, we actually... We actually win this one because if we go into the into the season with with low low morale, you never know what the fuck is going to happen. I mean, look at Chelsea for example. <laughs> so they get an attack in the tenth minute. That is that is not good. Stop. That, that's not good at all. But we should be able to stop this. They are deep in their own half. And what? What the hell? 
what the hell? That actually went through all of my defenders. What the hell is going on? All right, so Florian, is, is this Pedro? Okay, this is Pedro. He has a a corner. I mean, I would have wanted German to come and collect it, but okay. Let's see what Foden can do with his right leg. It goes high and away from life. Okay, we need to take advantage of the opportunities. That's what we need to do. We need to defend well as well. I, I, I'm really comfortable in the defense. Except, except I'm, I get really, really, really surprised, and that would hardly, that would hardly happen. The Dortmund goal was a really big surprise, big fucking surprise to be honest. And all right, so all right, yeah, that happened. So we have, we have an attack. But which way am I supposed to go? Okay, so Rise has come in for Foden. That is good. And it's high. It's high. Oh my god, we actually don't win anything. <laughs> we actually don't win anything. Damn. This has, this has to be the worst fucking prison we, we've ever had. This has to be the worst fucking prison we've ever had. And anyways, we have one last match to play in this episode. And that will be the match against um what's her face Florentina. I mean, we sh we definitely should be able to win that. If we don't, I'm I I'm going to be so pissed off if we don't. Go let's still meet for Cohetes. I mean, that's that that's so bad. That is so bad. Radio development schedule. Okay, he has he should have peaked by now. Yeah, he definitely has peaked. And he stops at 92. That is that is good. I mean, that is that is impressive. That is fucking impressive. So. Okay, you too. You have Pete. Helvig and Guardio. Sad that he, he doesn't get all the way to, to 92. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with that. I have three messages from players. Thanks for the loan offer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I really don't, I really don't care about these ones. I'm glad we agree. Okay, so. Next up, we have the match against Fiorentina. It's going to be a tough one. I'm not going to play the full match. Or should I play the full match? Hmm. I feel like I feel like I should. No, I'm going, I'm going to play full match for this one because if I don't, I, I feel like every oh, there's every possibility that I'm not going to I'm not going to win it and I want to win it. So that's going to be yet that's going to be the fourth trophy, the fifth trophy that we win. We won the Super Cup, the Super Copa, the Super Cup. I think that's what it's called, the the Spanish Super Cup. Then we won the La Liga the next season. Then we won the La Liga and the Super Cup and the Champions League. Is it Ronaldo? That was... Yes. Then we won the La Liga and the Super Copa and the Champions League. So that is five trophies right now. Unless I just fucked up my counting. Did I fuck it up? Wait, <laughs> two. Sorry. Um, Super Copa, the La Liga, then the La Liga again. The Champions League, the Super Copa. Okay, that's five. So if we win this one, that will be our sixth trophy. Learn to buy for... Ralph Janssen, I'm not going to ag ag agree to that at all. Another loan to buy. I, I, don't, I don't I don't really understand the loan to buy. Like, why the hell are you trying to loan to buy all of my fucking players? I do not want that. But press conference, we'll skip that, obviously. No one, no one fucking does that, really. And I'm just going to... I, I want us to use our away kit for this. Our alternate kit for this, rather. And, yeah. That would be, that would be good. So I'm playing the match. Well, let's see if we need any changes for... Um, this match. I'm tempted to play Stefan. I'm tempted to give Stefan some playing time, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Cantelo, I'm going to play Stewart in this one. Then Kallenberg, I think I think I will be better. I will feel better playing Florian Bertz. And then James is going to come in to lift the trophy. Basically, that's that's the only reason I'm going to bring him on to this match. All right, we are here in the Super Cup. We have a giant Tifo of Fonseca. I mean, he was definitely the best player last season. I actually would like, would love to see if he, if he gets the Ballon d'Or this season. I mean, he also got the the top player of the of the league, top scorer of the league. He also got the Golden Boot of the league last season. I didn't show you guys that, but he did. And that is the Super Cup. I mean, this is a, a trophy that we should win because I mean, we, we are facing Fiorentina right now. It's quite shocking that they were able to. I mean, they won the Europa League, so that means they are not. They're, they're definitely no pushover, but. But I feel like we should be able to, to 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 take victory in this match, especially with the fact that I'm playing full thing. All right, 
that's my B. Oh, that that dipped. That that dipped. It was so close. So fucking close. That was that was a good, good opportunity. But it's good to see that we are actually attacking straight off the bat. It just gives me a lot of confidence. And I I, I would love to beat these guys like five digits. Like so, what, what am I saying? Five goals to nil. That would definitely be interesting interesting to watch. Alright, so Okay. Scott Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to move on with my life. Alright, so that's another good save from the keeper. And, okay, let's see if we can get some backup. Yeah. Okay, that, that was brilliant, but that was yet another another really good save from the keeper. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That was, that was insane. Alright, so... Doesn't work out quite like I, it was coming. It was coming. It doesn't work out quite like I planned it, like like it did in the first try, in the second try rather. But man, that was that was a really good goal. I feel like I finally found a way, a really good corner tactic, really good corner tactic. I mean, a lot of our players are not even in the box, and that 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 was crazy. So first goal this season goes to Helvig. That's actually the first goal we scored this season, preseason or not. That that's crazy. So Helvig gets the first goal of this season. I think that's something I want to be taking note of now. I'm most likely going to forget by the end of before half time. Most likely going to forget that. So yeah, another really good interception. All right. So he he does win that header, and uh, this this might be a good chance. Why did he Why did he use right? You know what? You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. I mean, we've had a lot of chances. We've had a crazy amount of chances. Is that, is that, is that Kera? I feel like that 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 is Kera. Okay, so we have Foden on the ball. Gives it to Fonteca, but the defender is just able to do enough to... Oh! That is a gift! That is a gift for Pedri. And he let him go and celebrate with the fans. That was, that was insane. I wonder what the other keeper was doing. I wonder what the hell the keeper was doing. That, that was fucking bad. That was fucking bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, we're, we're taking that 2-0 to, to, to Fiorentina. I mean, we definitely would have gotten a second goal with or without that. But the thing is, we need to play better than we are playing right now. We need to play way better than we are playing right now. I don't know if the, the player have like the players have like um some sort of disease that is making them not play well right now yeah, they're giving the ball away they're not um doing what is supposed to be done that was a good that was good from from helping to actually put him off but it wouldn't have really mattered in the end okay so let's chill let's chill and hold possession let's just chill and hold possession for now let's actually just work our way up to the front okay so we can also do that we can also do that, and we actually, what, what the hell, very come on, you, you, could, you could definitely do better than that. Okay. Alright, that is, that is yet another crazy ass goal for Martin. 3 nil in the first half, I feel like we might actually be able to get this match all the way to, to 10. If we keep on going like this, but, I mean, that, that kind of stuff doesn't happen. They're most likely going to play a lot better in the second half, and... That was a really good, good cutback from from Pedri though. So he has a goal and an assist. That is that is good. I'm still waiting for Foden's um goal. This if, if he scores this match, that's going to be his debut competitive goal. And okay, all right. So that was weak as fuck. But we go again. Good, good interception. Good interception. And we are in. Let's see what Foden can do from far. That was that was close. Keep out just barely able to, to save that. It goes out for a corner though. And let's see if we can repeat that whole thing again. It should work. Definitely should work. Come on. And the thing is that I didn't actually I didn't actually even use the um 
Alright, that was a bad pass. I could have I, I should have done an up three. I should have taken it over. But I mean we're in the second half, or that's half time. And um it was a really good match from you guys. Really, really good match from you guys. And well, we can definitely whatever we're, we're definitely not going to reach ten. The thing is that I don't like the way we're attacking. Yeah. I mean we scored three goals already and um, one was lucky, one was from his, a really well worked, well worked set piece. And Fonteca's goal, how was that? I mean, that's the only goal that that we could actually um do from our hard work, from actual hard work. Yeah. Okay, that was that was a miss misfire from Foden. He's not he's not impressing me. He's not impressing me, but. Is the fact that I just trust him so much. That's the only reason he's still in this match right now. Okay, Vardio, you got this. As as usual. As usual. I mean he never he never fucking disappoints. So let's bring in a, a few people. Like Cantelo, then Florian Virts is coming in for sorry, um Calamari is coming in for Pedri. Virts is going to play here. And then I'm I'm going to bring James in later. I mean James is already on a ninety, so I mean, he's he's not going to be like some guy that's going to be a burden on the team. Uh, he he actually held held the ball really well, but crap, the, the the ending was not the ending was not good. Yeah, our final third action is is really not is really not giving right now. Really not fucking giving right now. Okay, so counter attack. Come on. Oh, that was that was a sweet fucking pass from from Pedri and what? What the hell did these guys want from me this much? Okay, that doesn't work out either ways. But Foden, okay, that's not Foden. That's Verts. He 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 gets on his score sheet as well. That was. I mean, they they look so much alike. They, they don't look alike. Their hairstyles are the exact same freaking thing. Almost the exact same thing. So I, it was it was. I mean, it's the same, to be honest. So that was that was that was a really good goal. I mean, I wanted German to go in and, and shoot that, but I mean, the pass of Fonseca was not really all that. But I was able to to improvise really well to find Florian, and yeah, that was that that was a really well worked goal. So Kallenberg and Cancelo are going to be coming into the match. Cancelo is making his professional debut for our side, and I expect big things from him. I mean, we haven't even been on the left. On, on the left side of the field at all this season and thank you so much German that was crazy and I actually predicted us to get past five and we are we are past five already I mean this match was never going to be any other way we are so much better than this team so much better than them and that was that was a single single really really good goal from 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 Kallenberg. Okay, so we have yet another opportunity, and um, that is just so unlucky for for Fonseca. That's so unlucky for Fonseca. For Fonseca. And like I said, this game has actually not been on the left flank. Cantillo just got the ball, and it will. Okay, so oh my days, what the hell did Vardio just do? That is the first time in a long time that he has fucked up in defense. First time in a very very fucking long time that he has fucked up. So who is who is there? Who is there? Fonseca. Okay, he does he does he does end up with the ball. And German as well. Okay, now that was that was so ambitious. And Foden will get his first goal of the club and he gets his goal in his professional debut. Six nil to our to our side. And I mean it was really lucky for us to get the, the ball back, but I mean the goal the finishing was not luck in any way. I mean he has gotten a shot on target already in this in this episode, in this match rather. And I mean I mean he does deserves he does deserves that goal. So I mean that's going to be his final kick of the ball. I'm bringing in Brise for him. And man, I mean it was not the prettiest of goals, but it was definitely a goal. And 6 0 to Fiorentina. And we are just in the 74th minute. We, we most likely will not reach 10, but I mean Ten what I'm aiming for right now. It's not, it's, not, it's not going to be that much of a possibility, but I mean it's definitely what I am I am aiming for. And just like that. Alright, we say go and get your goal. Thank you. No way he's not going to score this. <laughs> that 
that was me being too fucking cheeky right there. That was me being too fucking cheeky. But um, I think that's all the changes I want to make. Yeah. So, I mean, that was my fault. That was completely my fault. And it's, it's really sad that he's not going to be able to get his goal. But let's try and see if we can get one more goal from Helvig. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't get to him. But Versio has a chance on goal, and that was that was really close. That was really, really fucking close. So we have we have a corner, and that that is Kallenberg that is way over there. But I, I, I mean, I, I, it's tempting, but I still I still want to try this, and that that was a very it was going straight for James James foot, but all right. So that's basically it's six 0 that's 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 how much any I doubt we're going to score anymore. And yep, yeah, six 0 to Fiorentina. Sorry, six 0 to us. Six 0 against Fiorentina. Yeah. So that is that was a really 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 big win. And six goals. Fonteca scored the scored only one. I, I think nobody actually got a breeze in this match. Nobody actually got a breeze. It was actually six different scorers. That is that that is fucking crazy. And we are going to be lifting one more trophy in this longer series. This is going to be the sixth trophy that we're lifting in our team. I mean, I will check it just to be sure after after this. Hopefully, I don't forget. And how big is going to be the one lifting it? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to change the armband to 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 James. So there really wasn't any points bringing him at the end of the at the end of the day. So yeah, that is the first trophy of of a possible four that we're going to lift in this season. Hopefully, we lift, we get to lift all of them. Um, there is the the Super Cup. There is now the Super Copa. Because we won the La Liga last season, then there is still the Copa del Rey, and then there is the Champions League trophy that that we have to we have to win as well. So we're looking at a quadruple this season. This is the first of many. I mean, this one really doesn't matter because it's pre season, but I mean, it's still a trophy. It's still a very prestigious one. It was actually four different goal scorers. Where's the match highlights? Yeah, it was Helvig, then Pedri, then Fonteca, then then Florian Wirtz, then Kallenberg, and then Phil Foden got the last goal for the team. So. This is basically the end of the episode. I just want to look at the um, thing I said I wanted to look at. I forgot the name, but I will go and check it. Okay, yeah, yeah, the amount of trophies that we have won in this series. Um, yeah, it should be here. Club titles, league titles. We, we, we've won two league titles. We've won one continental. And that's basically all that they've shown us. Okay, I mean, I know that we've won Super Copa twice. And, and, and they're not showing us, they're not showing us the Super Cup that we just won. So we we won Super Cup twice and we just won the the Super Cup. So um, that is six trophies, you know, and, and that is that is that is fairly good. That's that's fairly good. Yeah. So tournament prize money four point five. That that is useful. I mean, we still could have gotten the seventh goal, but I mean that was my that was completely my fault that he wasn't able to score there. But that is the end. That is the end of this episode and. Uh, Thank you guys for watching if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace